Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to Band of Bastards, the brand new Kingdom Come Deliverance DLC, which I am super excited to go ahead and dive in and share this journey once again with you guys. Because, you know, we had such a fun time playing the base game. Even the building DLC was a ton of fun. The hands coupon one was a little bit disappointing due to the few bugs we ran into, which made it really short. But Band of Bastards is looking like it is going to perform it has a brand new area of the map it has some really interesting story missions it has some multiple endings it has new achievements new sets of armor and plenty other places to explore so and it also looks to be a lot more combat based as well which i think will be really really good and i think that's where the dlc in this game will shine uh, it really really will so you'll be roaming around with your own band of kind of like not mercenaries but kind of I guess group of misfits as you clear out bandit hideouts and just do loads of other really cool missions. So it should be a ton of fun. Also, if you guys are looking to pick up this DLC and you haven't done it quite yet, I have recently partnered with Games Planet who work directly with publishers to bring you guys cheaper games. And this game is currently 10% off if you go ahead and use my link down below in the description. But not only that, you can also get an extra 5% off any Kingdom Come Deliverance DLC alongside the new one so you can get this new Band of Bastards DLC for 15% off if you use the code as well as my link Bastard5. I'll leave that all down below in the description if you want to read that and check it out for yourself. So yeah, yeah, I guess let's just go ahead and jump in and we'll go and see Sir Radzig and get this bad boy started. It is kind of a good time for us to go as well so yeah, let's, let's do this bad boy. We are pretty heavily armoured as well because I think the last mission we fought Oh no, we were we were pretending to be, I remember now, in the last hands coupon DLC, this was kind of our like semi-professional, semi kind of just looking fly armor. We didn't want to be like covered in head to toe in like kind of just straight up plate, but we still wanted to be protected and look pretty sly and I think we definitely did. So uh, yeah, let's let this guy come down the stairs and we'll make our way up. So if you guys haven't seen the rest of my playthroughs, I've done all the DLCs and the main storyline. And if you guys want to check them out, I'll go ahead and leave a link to the playlist down below in the description. Uh, and we kind of play Henry very hon honorably. If we can take an honorable path in things, we generally will. You know, we won't necessarily let everyone live just for the sake of letting everyone live. But we will also, you know, you know, try and take, you know, try and protect people whenever we can. Sir Radzig, my father, how are you doing, sir? Good to see you, lad. Sir Hanush told me you won his tourney. I did indeed. Good job, Henry. That was a great free LC. They dropped him the last, uh, the last DLC pack. Um, so yeah, I, I did. I managed to win that. Let's see if there's anything else we can do. Father, can I ask you about something? Of course, Henry. I thought since we drove Toth out of the province, things would be better. I mean that the roads would be safer and so on. And um, Well, that's not entirely the case. Ah, the naivety of youth. Driving him out of the province was only the start. He left a lot of cutthroats behind, and they'll be sticking to their trade. What's more, as long as there's a war going on, problems like this will keep coming up. Well, what can we do about it? Not an awful lot, unfortunately. My garrison is a shamble these days. I lost most of my men in Skalitz, and what I'm left with after Privislavitz is hardly enough even to guard Pigstein. Let alone guarding the roads and patrolling the rest of the province. I simply don't have the men. Uh-huh. I understand. That is, I didn't have the men. As it happens, you've come at just the right time. Recently, I asked an old acquaintance for help. Sir Kuno of Rickwald and his mercenary band. The men who ride with him are a rough lot, mostly former convicts, but they're as capable as any squad of soldiers. Well, excuse me for being so bold, but there's plenty of mercenaries around. Surely you can find a more respectable band you have a point lad but i'd like to tell you i talked to kuno because i trust him but actually my reasons are of a more pragmatic nature you see kuno owes me a favor so he'll serve me free of charge so you want me to join them yes but that's not all i told kuno i'd send him a guide but really what i need is for someone to keep a close eye on him and his men someone reliable and I'd say you fit the part. I am Go your son after all. His encampment. You'll ride with his band on patrols and make sure they don't get too disorderly. 
Yeah, for sure. Let's do this. Sounds like a lot of fun. And they were actually mercenaries as well. I wasn't sure if they were because I've tried to avoid any spoilers watching anything about the new DLC. So it's really cool. You know, we're going to be part of the rad tag, you know, mercenary group trying to do stuff. But let's find out a bit more information about him before we do dive in because this stuff could be really useful in further missions if we know stuff about these characters. Who is this Sir Kuno of Rickwald? He's the last baron of the House of Rickwald, which became impoverished. So he took to the mercenary trade, like many poor noblemen do, unless they become robbers, which often isn't all that different. He's certainly an entertaining companion, but as a mercenary, well, let's just say he has his own particular approach to certain matters. That sounds a little worrying. Oh, it's nothing too bad. Just that now and again he needs reminding not to step over the line. Okay, so I think things are going to get out of control pretty quickly. How is he indebted to you? I did him quite a big service, actually. I saved him from the hangman. Oh, that sounds like quite a story. How did it happen? You should ask him. You'll be spending quite a while riding together, so it'll help pass the time. But one thing I can tell you, he seems to have taken inspiration from me. A lot of his men had their own encounters with the executioner, too. Okay, cool. Well, let's All do right. this. I'll go and report to him. Excellent. He set up camp between Ratai and Ledechko. It's a good base for covering the province. Good luck, Henry. And watch out for yourself. I will, sir. Thanks. God be with you. Awesome. Well, there we go. Quest started. This already sounds like a hell of a lot of fun. Also, we need to take a quick look at Rate. It's been so long since we've seen this bad boy. Looking great. So I'm also playing in 1440p now as well. So the game itself should look a bit cleaner and, you know, just really, really, um, you know, look nice. So hopefully that it does. So I think what we need to do is we need to go and get all of our armor that we have available to us. And, you know, obviously suit up as best as we can because it's going to be a very, very dangerous start. I imagine to the missions will probably get into some conflict pretty quickly. Do we have a lot of our armor on our horse? We do. Yeah, so let's, uh, I wish you have quite a bit of this armor here as well. Um, we have some destroyed armor and stuff like that. Let's just put on everything we're not wearing. So we have, I have so many random clothes from other stuff. But I think our horse also has a, yeah, fair amount of stuff on it as well. So what I'll do is I'll organize this and I'll be back in a second. Yeah. Okay, so I've rearranged the majority of my inventory. We do need to find like an armor smith, but apparently the one at the top of town isn't really helping out much. I try to speak to him. I try to wait a bit of time and I think it's just too late in the day to go ahead and, you know, repair our armor. And I'm sure we'll be able to do that at the camp anyway. So for now, I'm still basically repping the same equipment I had. I just need to replace the chest piece because it was it's basically completely ruined. So we need to go ahead and get that seeing too. But as I said, I'm sure the mercenaries will have a blacksmith but like to hand which we can use and even if they don't i'm sure things will be okay so where are we off to right now that's the dam so we don't need to go across there as he said it's between rate so it's right here we need to make our way to which we can do so i think there's a bridge over here to the right hand side which we can use so one of the things i think that we really love to do and so i need to let you guys know is we don't really fast travel an awful amount is there a bridge here i thought there was Looks like the map there was, but I guess not. Yeah, we don't really tend to fast travel. Oh, the bridge is away, but I'm an idiot. Okay, okay. I mean, it's a great start to the series already, right? When I'm already getting lost. Um, but yeah, we don't really like to fast travel too much. We like to really just kind of take things slow. Really kind of see everything that we can see. And just enjoy the game. There's no need to rush it, you know? These DLCs don't come around too often, so... You know, I'm not really going to be speed running this at all. I'm going to be sitting back enjoying it, you know, taking in the beautiful countryside of Kingdom Come Deliverance because it is, you know, very, very spectacular. But don't worry, I won't be like completely going off on like mad side quests and stuff. I will be trying to stick to the story as much as possible. So their camp should just be up here on the left, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's a beautiful road right here we can follow. And we have to get this one, uh, you know, on the way because I want to, you know, meet all the crew because apparently they've all got pretty unique personalities and stuff, which would be awesome to uh, to talk to and kind of really get to figure out who's who. One of the things I'm really looking forward to, here we go, there's a camp on the left, is the ability to fast travel along with your posse, which I think just sounds so cool. I'll be with you. Uh, I'm looking for Sukuno. Sukuno, uh, Baron Rickvold. 
Isn't this his camp? <laughs> you won't get nothing out of him. You must be Radzig's man. I heard he was supposed to send someone. Yes, so Radzig sent me as a guide. I'm Henry. I'm Jakey. And this here fella, we call the stone. Yeah, I can see why. What's up with him? Cat got his tongue? No. More like the dog got it. The executioner's dog. <laughs> when the executioner yeah. ripped it out of him. Anyway, you better come along with me. And I'll introduce you to the other fellas. And the chief. These here are the Bearman brothers. Petter and Jan. They're a barrel of laughs, except when they're too drunk to string two words together. Like now. <laughs> Don't get on the wrong side of them, though. When their blood is up, well, it ain't a pretty sight. But Henry's neck is still so messed up. I need to wear, Just like, a queef or something. I'm sure. Never mind the fancy poses, Stefan. You're trying to kill the fucker, not teach him how to dance. And you, Dangler, stand your ground. Don't let him lead you round by the nose. Sir? Well, sir, this is Henry. From Co... From Lord Kobler. Ah, it's about time Rads had got round to this. We need someone who knows their way round these parts. We'll leave off with the uh, bowing and curtsying. We don't hold with that tomfoolery here. Jakey! Where the hell are you sneaking off to? Go to the farm and get water. The lads are thirsty. But I went last time. And you'll go next time, you ungrateful pup. Get your ass moving. He's going to betray us. A hundred percent he's going to betray us. I'm calling it now. <laughs> you pull him out of a pile of shit. And they thank you with backtalk. Where were we? Oh, yeah. We need a guide who knows these parts. So I hope I can rely on you, Herman. That's Henry. Right. Well, as I said to Radzig... I don't want to carry any dead weight. We could find ourselves in some very tight situations where every sword counts. I know how to handle a sword, all right? I've heard a lot of fellas say that. They still ended up on the wrong end of one. <laughs> we'll find out. Stefan, take a break. Dangler, let's find out what Harold here can do. Let's do this. Why does he call me by my proper name? No problem, Chief. Well, this guy looks like he's in for it. Okay, let's warm up again. It's been a while since we've last fought with a sword. I'm stretched. Oh my god, he's coming at me. Jesus. And we're using proper swords as well. Well, let's go then, my dude. Okay, okay, let's try and get an overarm in. Nice left flank. Go, go, go. We're really working that right arm. He didn't manage to get a good hit off on me, though. I was just too slow on my swing. Oh, come and get Let's it. Faint the right. Go up. Nice. There we go. Oh, he counter blocked me. Really trying to just smash his armor on that right arm. Me. Yeah, he's just getting these kind of chips on me. I need to wait for him to be the aggressive one. I could faint a lot more as well. It's something I don't do enough Quit for it. sure. <sighs> Come on. Oh, how did he push me there? I'm also staying way too close. <sighs> he counters me again, man. He must be pretty low, though. He's pretty good. We're countering and everything, and he's still... Let's keep on changing my sword arm. Nice. That was a good couple hits there. So, Zayn, working on the arms, bringing them down. You can ride with us. 
All right. Good. Thanks. Don't thank me yet. You don't know what you're letting yourself in for. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I enjoyed that. The AI seemed to be a lot more proficient with, like... Like, it, it kind of seemed a lot more responsive with wherever I striked. Depending on the AI sword, it was a lot more effective. Um, so paying more attention to that is obviously going to be kind of good. I guess these guys are much more well-trained soldiers, uh, for sure. So, uh, let's go ahead and ask, uh, ask a bit more about him, you know. We've just had a little bit of combat, so, so Kuno, let's find out a little bit more about, about him yourself. before we go. Drop the, sir. That title brought me nothing but grief. But what do you want to know? Um, let's, just, let's find out more about his family. Sir Radzig told me the Rickvold family um, lost its wealth. How did that happen? There's all sorts of ways to become impoverished. Nothing easier. Especially when your father's a fool. And your mother's mad as a bat. Oh. But it's a long and twisted story. We took our name from Rickvald Castle. But that actually belonged to the convent of the poor Clares in Tynitz. And my father only leased it. You see, he knew the abbess there since they were young. Knew her very well. There was even talk that she only joined the order because her family wouldn't let her marry him. Anyway, whether he was fucking her right there in the convent or he just took a lot of interest in scripture, he spent an awful lot of time in Tynitz. Oh, he might have been after a bit of both. Sinning and confessing all in one place. Well, I can see the convenience of it. Anyway, my mother never had strong nerves. Truth be told, her sanity was always shaky. Pa's escapades drove her cuckoo entirely. Then, one frosty December morning, I was woken by screaming and smoke. I looked out the window. I saw my mother there in the courtyard, wreathed in flames. Jesus. Behind her, the stables, the farm buildings and the tower were burning too. And she just stood there, shrieking with laughter. Christ. <laughs> yeah, Sounds seriously, like straight out of hell. Hellish it was, I can tell you. Me and my sister Adela and a few servants managed to get out before the whole place went up. I couldn't get to my father. Or my little brother. Poor lad was only seven. My sister and I were left destitute after the fire. But then my cousin, Adam of Drevich, took us into his castle. A few weeks later, he offered to buy what was left of our estates and sell me a small fortress near a Kovnik. It was a great relief. We suddenly had some hope of a future again. So I told my sister about it. And it was the biggest mistake of my life. A week later, the two of them announced to me they were getting married. And all that was left of our estates, lands, woods, Villages. Adela was to get it all as a dowry. But surely that was for you to decide. You were the head of the family, right? Aye. Only I barely had 17 years under my belt, and I'd just lost everything. Of course, I argued with them. And that was the only excuse they needed to kick me out of Drevich too. <sighs> That's pretty harsh. You're telling me. But I'm not complaining. As my pa always used to say, if you can turn your hand to something, you'll never be lost. I doubt it ever crossed his mind how often I'd remember those words. Jesus Christ, I mean, that was a story and a half, right? Um, so let's go ahead and just go on patrol now. We'll, we'll go ahead and obviously come back to him and find out more information about him. But, you know, for now, I feel like we've, we that out? was a long ass story, so let's uh, move on. No but my God, was it now. brutal. It'll we'll soon be dark. Come back at first light and we'll get going. All right. You can sleep here in the camp if you want. There's room enough. And you ought to get better acquainted with the fellas. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. So we can talk around the rest of these guys. We can have a nice little nap and stuff. Let's talk to a few more of these guys. But don't worry, I'll try and at least get in one patrol before the end uh, of this. So yeah, having our armor repaired is kind of a necessity because you can see this one is pretty beaten up right now. Uh, it's got a cross next to which I mean, I imagine isn't great. We've got, you know, kind of head armor as well, which we should probably put on because Henry's neck seems pretty fucking messed up. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I just look stupid, but oh, whatever, we'll just take it off for now. It's fine. Uh, do you have any food lying around? Because I could really do with a nice cooked meal. Henry, 
I'm glad you there we go, perfect. We are we are ready to eat, right? And also I could do some healing as well. So our nourishment is only 70, so yeah, we can eat for sure. I can go for some stew right now. Of course, there's him. Let's uh, let's talk to Peter. Bearman. Tell me something about your What do you want to know? How did you and Jan end up with Kuno? Me and my brother been riding with coin men since we was little. This was just another mercenary band for us. But Kuno seemed like a decent kind of fellow who'd treat us fair. Okay, interesting. I mean, that's kind of short, but nice, nice. Um, then we have these guys as well. Oh, this dude is just not the stone. We literally can't even talk to him. I mean, I guess he doesn't have a tongue, does he? I'll talk to the other brother as well. Can you tell me something? Why not? I haven't been to confession for a while. <laughs> what a lad. You and Petter seem very close. As brothers should be, lad. Nah, to tell the truth, I'd never have guessed the two of you came from the same mother. Oh, we've got the same ma, all right. I ain't got no ma, and neither does he. <laughs> and the same goes for our pa. It's probably Satan himself. Oh. I'm a bit confused. You're not actually brothers. We might be. We might not. A band of mercenaries found us in a village when I was still a baby. Come and better hardly walking. Something. Playing in the dirt together, we was. Their leader took a shine to us for some reason. He took Come us here. away and raised us up. Raised us with swords for playthings and ale for mother's milk. A few years later, man. he was killed in Saxony. The band fell apart, but we joined another right away. Henry, That's the way it's been word. ever since. Over and over. Oh my over. god, this dude so in the background is wanting a word. Well, um, <laughs> Can you all see I'm busy? A normal life. Henry. We ride from one fight to another, risking our necks and killing who they pay us to kill. That's normal for us. Always has Henry, been. I want to have a word with you. Okay, I'll come. Jesus, he needs to chill out, though. Is it you? It's you, right? It's Henry. Jakey. What? What could you possibly want? What is it, Jakey? Yeah, what is it? The stone wants to talk with you, if you can call it that. Probably about that ring. What ring? Ah, no one told you about it. The fellas call it the Ring of Bakus. It's a kind of game we play. Kuno gave us this ring. It's just a worthless bauble. But when we're at the tavern, Kuno pays everything for the man who has the ring. So we steal the ring from each other and try to trick each other. Well, actually, just the others. They won't let me play. Kuno says I'm too young to get boozed up. <laughs> that sounds like a lot of fun. But I don't have the ring, so why does the stone want to see me? He probably wants you to steal it from someone. Since you're new, the fellows will talk to you, and it won't be suspicious. All right. I'll have a word with him. Okay, cool. Well, we got to talk to the stone now as well. I don't know how the stone okay, is going to talk to us, but we can talk to him and see what's up. Why not? Go for you. Hello, Mr. Stone. Jakey sent me to you. Something about a ring? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I suppose you want me to get it from someone? Mm. Who has it? Uh. Jakey? Oh, obviously not him. I didn't know why I clicked mm -mm. that. You mean Kuno? Mm -mm. <laughs> really? Mm -mm. Jesus, Petra this is Bowman. hilarious. Mm -mm. I didn't quite... Is, is it Fletching? Mm -mm. Who is it then? Does Dangler have it? Mm. Dangler, okay. All right. How should I get it? <laughs> this isn't a good conversation, Stone. You better be better at fighting than you are, you are as talking. So we have to get the ring from Dangler. Where is he? This is obviously Kuno, our leader. Suddenly... The cavalry turns into Fletcher one. right there. Bearman, I think Dangler is back here, maybe? I think he was the dude I just fought. No, it's Jakey. So where is he? He must be, like, in the tent or something, right? So, what is it you want me to explain? Literally a pretty nice... Oh, they've got some cool helmets on as well, like Saxon-esque helmets and shields as well. I'm excited to see more of these weaponry as well. Oh, there you go. Dangler's right here. This, yeah, this is the dude I fought. Pretty good swordsman. Can you tell me something about yourself? What do you want to know? The game as well looks amazing. Why do they call you Dangler? 
because Kuno found me dangling on the end of a rope. Ah. Oh, wow. I see. So, um, he saved you from execution? I wouldn't call it an execution, exactly. At the time, I was squire to the Lord of Buzitz. That was a proper night for you. Full of ideals and honour. I looked up to him as a hero. Then in one skirmish, he was killed, and the foe took me captive. They stood me on a shaky wooden cross with my hands tied behind my back and a noose around my neck. For amusement. Then they rode off laughing. But how long were you stuck there? I couldn't tell you. Hours. Maybe days. In the end, everything started going black. I could feel the devil pulling me down by the legs. Jesus! How on earth did you survive? I didn't. When Kuno found me, he says I was dead as a doornail. They cut me down and took the rope off me. Then someone gave me a kick and I coughed and came back to life. Sort of. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. I guess this is all I can say. Hey, I want the Ring of Bacchus. I heard you have it. So you come and ask me for it. Well, that's a novel approach. Well, you don't just have to steal it from each other. Why not play for it? No, I don't play dice. But we can duel for it. Uh, yeah, cool. We all can right. fight this guy again. Why not? I'll wager the ring, and you put up some groschen, all right? I bet you this ring is like, they're, they're taking the piss of our battle new guy now as well, you know? Sure. I'll wager like, that. I bet you it isn't actually, mm -hmm. like, worth... That'll do it. Well, now it's something worth fighting for. So you better watch out. Yeah, I bet you it isn't like what they're saying. Is that, oh god, this guy is so aggressive, and I put my sword away as well. Give me a Cut. second for pity's sake. <laughs> and guys, as you can see, because this this video does have bastard in the title dumb. as well, that's the name of the DLC. It'd be really, really awesome if you guys could drop a like and a comment down below on the video. It'd be really awesome. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Okay, low, 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 low. Whoa. Nice, nice. Above, above, above. Smash his helmet. Perfect. And then his right. Oh. Uh. We're just about to lose our wound as well. I'm probably going to get it back in a second. Let's keep on matching him so my sword can easily block like so. I want to go right, right, right. Continue to focus down that arm. Yeah, he's already pretty low. We've easily got this one. But yeah, I bet the ring isn't like what they're saying it is. It's faint low. <laughs> Out of the way. Oh, that one hurt. Oh, yeah, I don't have a proper helmet on as well. God, I need to be careful. I'm fighting this guy without a proper helmet. All right, Henry, chill out. You're fine. This guy always has the push on me as well. He must have more strength. I'm trying to stay, like, out of his range as well, so he can't Fuck. perfect dodge me as effectively. Let's try and like just change sides. He's gonna dodge that. I need him to like strike me so we can dodge effectively. That was a bad one. My sword was way too up. Also, look how awesome Rete looks in the background. Give it up already. Okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Oh, that's perfect. Yes, that push off was amazing. Caught him on the back foot. Almost killed him as well by the looks of it. Oh, fair fight. Well, I don't like giving it up. Well, at least I won't get so plastered next time. Uh, just watch how it doesn't get pinched. <laughs> I'll do that. Thanks. Hey, Henry's come to see you. Henry has come to see you. So now what? Now we've got the ring. Do we just try and keep hold of it? I just need to make sure that no one talks to me. I'm keeping an eye on everyone now. The all a, all a suspect. Take the ring of Buganga to the stone. But I want it. Uh, maybe giving it to the stone isn't a bad idea. It's a good way to make a friend, right? What was that? That was just cooking. Where is the stone at? So do we have any options? Can we keep it for ourselves? Out of interest. So if we go to our quest log, uh, Band of Bastards right here. I can turn Matt off. Like both of these are main story missions. And then the ring as well. So take the ring to the stone is just our main objective. Okay, that's fine with me. Where is he? Yeah, he's all the way over here, right? Or is he in the camp itself? No, not in the camp, so he must be 
He must have been watching me fight. Hopefully he's impressed with my my pure skill. I got the ring from Dangler. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, I, uh, I suppose there's not much more either of us can say about it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Definitely not you. <coughs> uh, yeah, thanks to you too. So what did you give me? Just some money? I mean, we don't really need money. Silence of the gold. Oh, cool. You gave me a book which we can learn, and I guess that'll be pretty good. So the ring is sought after as the Holy Grail. Let's see who wants it next. Oh, so we have to keep on taking them from it. That's really cool. I like that idea. But we have to keep on, like, taking it from people and, you know, giving it to one another. Basically just stealing it, like, 24-7. And as we said, Henry is the honourable guy, so it's a good thing to do that. Oh, that's really cool. It's kind of like a lookout post up there. The game looks really good in 1440p. Hopefully you guys can notice. Um, I guess now what we're going to do is we're just going to go and have a sleep and wait until morning and then prepare ourselves for our first patrol. I think that'll be our best best plan to do. So let's do that now. Okay, guys, so it is now morning. I think all we have to do is go ahead and speak to the leader and then he will hopefully go ahead and let us go on patrol. So Kuno, what's up, my dude? I know you're eating breakfast and stuff, but let's, let's go on patrol. Out? Oh, You'd like to ride out, would you? Wouldn't you rather leave us sitting here on our asses, waiting for you a few more days? You told Sorry, me to wait till the morning. To care of. A job? I believe Radzig assigned you to us. So this is your fucking job. Um, Jesus Christ, my dude. I asked to go yesterday and you said, let's wait for the morning. So actually, it's Sir Sorry, Radzig. Radzig. You can call him what you like, Henry. Just remember you're riding with us. I think you need to I'd be like a little bit nicer. North. Is there anything interesting that way? North of here. Uh, Samapesh and Merhoyed are that way. And Talmberg is a bit further on. There's stables in Merhoyed. I wouldn't mind paying a visit to those stables. We can go through there. And from there? From there, we'll follow our noses. Something interesting is sure to turn up. I feel it in my bones. Man up and let's go. Sure. Chief. Okay, well, we've got a new quest started now, so I'm excited. Oh, look how cool this is. Look at the boys going out on patrol. I love this. So this is what I'm really excited for, because I feel like this could be a great opportunity to allow Henry to lead armies along around the campaign map and kind of, kind of get a really big feel about the, like, Mountain Blade-esque type thing, you know? Where you end up leading armies around the campaign map and going on patrol. I'm also going to quickly armor up as well. Probably should have done this a little while ago. Um, but let's just get in our full suit of armor. Because we are out on battle. You know, we could definitely clean our stuff. But, you know, what's going to... Well, you know, we can't really do much now. Our armor is really messed up as well. I honestly do need to go to, like, some sort of... Um, I would need to go to some sort of armor smith and, and, you know, repair my armor. Because it is pretty beaten up. But for now, I guess this will just do... Look how awesome this is, man. Oh, why are we... Chill out. So, uh, we are at the back of the... Patrol, so... What a fine day, eh, brother? Indeed, brother. You know what I like best about days like this, Jan? Hmm. The scent of chamomile wafting from the hillsides. Among other things. Ah, like the rounded hills rising. Purple, all soft and pink in the sunlight. And the fertile valley below spreading wide and inviting. Dew glistening in a mossy hollow. The sweet aroma of honey in the air. The sturdy poplar standing tall and erect. Aye, <laughs> it reminds me of that day. That day when the two of us fucked Fletch's ma. <laughs> Jesus, boys. <laughs> Very droll. You'd make a stuffed bird laugh. Your ma's a stuffed bird. <laughs> oh, he's this archer. I never met the archer. It's kind of annoying. It's making me go really fast now, though. I can't smell any chamomile. Well, men, how are things? May I? Yes, Fletch. How shall I put it? I'm a little concerned about the prospects in these parts, Chief. Oh, how's that? I've been looking around, and if you'll pardon me, it seems to me that we've been stuck for a long time in the arsehole of beyond. It's not Paris, France, I'll grant you. 
What I mean to say is, I haven't got any new kit or arrows since the day Jakey joined us. It makes me uneasy, Chief. I see. What about the rest of you? I don't know what Fletch is moaning about. There's plenty of booze and loose wenches nearby. Not to mention fools in the taverns who don't know when to stop rolling those dice. Dangler? It's the arsehole of beyond everywhere we go. It always makes me uneasy. You can ask for stone. Fletch can complain. I was supposed to get a suit of armor, and all I got was a shitty kettle hat. Sorry, but they don't do hoberks in girl sizes. Oh? Well, how did you get yours then? All right, I appreciate your honesty, lads. Don't worry, there will be plunder. We're here to fight. To the victor, the spoils. And so it's always been, but no purse of silver will shed blood for you on the battlefield. That's what this company is for. And I hope you never forget the golden rule. You can joke all you want, moan all you want, but nothing will keep your skins in one piece better than trusting your leader, who you choose by your own free will. So don't ever forget that. Amen. What are we up to? What do your elf eyes see? It's annoying that I couldn't just like walk at their There's speed. There's something going on over there. Let's go! Behind me and keep your eyes peeled. There we go. Let's go then. I'll obviously be at the back. This isn't my mercenary crew. Yeah, it was kind of annoying. For some reason, it got me like off of auto march along with them. I think I was supposed to just be at their pace, but for some reason, it, it stopped. We're just galloping in. Yeah, it seems like both. They're just like two. Oh, it's so annoying that I can't just what do you think we can keep this up. Time, fellas? Groshen. Hidden in a piss pot under the bed. A nice chunk of beef. No one there will be eating. Yeah, On man, it looks like they're all dead. This is awesome, though. I love hey, this brother. patrol going around, <laughs> and I really enjoy the, the back and forth between <laughs> the crew talking. Watering, They've done a good job at creating the story the here. This is already seeming like Once a lot better than the past DLCs. Loot, I'll be happy to play you for your hard earned groschen back at the camp. Poor old Fletch. Never gets to see the action from close up. What about you, Dangler? What do you expect to find? Futility and human suffering. Like always. Oh, always Jesus full of good Fletcher. cheer, eh, Dangler? Or Dangler Why don't you even? take a leaf out of Stone's book and shut the fuck up? Jesus, I wish you'd all shut the fuck up. <laughs> Let's go, but look at us. This is so sick, man. I'm pumped to this DLC. We're all dismounting. Keep like Just, peeled, just imagine in the second game if you They're lead like an army or something. Look for clues and question the survivors. If there are any. Like, imagine going on a crusade or something with, like, the Templars. Oh, my God. Like, with, like, the thing is, with the past DLCs, they kind of feel a bit out of place because they felt like there's something you should be doing during the game. If that makes sense. Like, the, the building one felt like, you know, it'd be really fun if you did that throughout the game itself. And I kind of feel like this DLC would kind of be the same, even though it's kind of got off to a really good start. But it just really makes me excited for the next game. Because in the next game, you'll probably be building your own castle up, leading your own troops around the map, you know. There would be so much more stuff, so it's really cool. It looks like these guys were slaughtered by peasants, though. They slaughtered them like animals. Not just the, just not just the men, but the women and children, too. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad. Wash my hands, though. So I guess checking a few of these houses, see if anyone's still alive. Yeah, it looks like they were completely ransacked. Completely ransacked. No one's here by the looks of it. Check the other few houses then, I guess. You might still find someone like cowering under a bed or something. Maybe a child. Oh, there's a note here. Unfortunately, uh, I mean, I am a liter I am literate in the game, so I could read that. Uh, Kuno will want to know about this. House of Zol Shield, interesting. See if there's anything else here, really quickly. Check us out, though. Leading the oh my god, even the not just for women, not just for men, but the dogs as well. Butcherers. Is that basically all the houses? I don't think there's anything else maybe to look at. Yeah, you got people. This is sick, man. Seeing everyone like scouting around, doing their own thing. Like imagine leading an army like of like 100, 200 men. 
Let's go talk to Kuno now. I think we basically discovered everything we can. I found this shield in a shed along with a letter. Seems like someone left us a message. Show me that. Hmm. I know that, Chris. It's the house of Zul. A dangerous lot. God's truth. I don't think we'll find anything else here. We'll stay here a while, just in case. And you should go and report to Radzig what happened. What do you know about these Zuls? A family of impoverished nobles. They fought in the Margraviate Wars in Moravia. But what they're after in Bohemia, I've no idea. Well, I thought I could go and search for those raiders. They might not have gotten very far yet. All right. It's always good to have an extra pair of eyes. We'll keep searching here for a while, and then head back to the camp. So what's our... So we're, we're going to continue what, just to look around a little bit? Is that is that our objective? Do, or do we still have to go back to Radzig now? Optional, we'll try and find traces of the attackers. Report to Sir Radzig afterwards. So I guess we'll, if we do find any extra tracks, then we can move on. Okay, cool. Well, we'll, we'll spend the last you know minute or two just looking around, see if we can find anything kind of like clear tracks of where they've been, where they've gone. Um, how big is the mission area as well, out of interest? So that's to go back to Sir Radzig. And we also can try and find it. doesn't tell me, like, how big the area is around here. That's fine. We can maybe see if we can find something. You know, maybe a broken down fence or something. And then we'll probably call it a quits for the episode. I feel like we've got a pretty good one. Got some good fighting in. There's going to be plenty more fighting to come, though. And also, one of the things to really look forward to, I think, is that there'll be a lot of group fighting. Obviously, I'll be fighting alongside this mercenary band, killing a lot of other groups of combat. So that should be good, you know? Not just one-on-ones and stuff. It'll be, like... Big groups of people all fighting one another. I guess we should probably sit a little bit further back, though. Yeah, it doesn't look, look like there's too much over here. Um, so we'll probably go back to the town. Maybe there's a few more buildings or barns we could see. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else around here whatsoever. Because normally you can see, like, normally you can notice, like, horse prints on the ground. And that's a great way of tracking, so... Or blood, or there's normally something clear to show you that the enemy have been this way. And that's one of the reasons I really love this game, is that attention to detail. That if you are paying attention, you can notice these things and, uh, yeah, actually kind of get the uh, drop on these optional ob objectives. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything over here. Maybe we can try this broken down house. Maybe they try to, like, hide something here. I don't want to go too far out, though, because I imagine... A lot of the stuff isn't... Oh, there's a deer right there, or a rabbit. We have to crouch underneath. Yeah, again, nothing too too exciting here. That's fine with us. You know, we are just looking around, seeing if anything we can find. Any tracks to see where they led off. I mean, this is kind of a weird path, right? Is it supposed to be a path, or is it just really rocky? It looks weird, nonetheless. I mean, let's just circle around, see if we can see. Oh, you got some uh, some hunting spots discovered. That's kind of good. Unfortunately, that's not what I'm looking for. So let's go just check this burnt down. Oh, we already checked the burnt down house, didn't we? Uh, hmm. I don't think we want to cross anything else here. I might take a little bit of time off camera as we end this episode to have a look, see if I can discover any tracks or anything. But if we can't, that's fine. You know, we're not about discovering every little bit. We'll try our best. But if we end up not discovering something, then, you know, that's just our Henry in our time zone. Not discovering anything. Not even flesh could flop this lot. So you like looting him. A bit distasteful. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything here. So, yeah, as I said, I'll take a little look off camera, see if I can find anything else to help us. And then we'll be back tomorrow with the next episode. If you guys want to see these daily uploaded, then be sure to drop a like and a comment down below. It's the best way to let me know that you want to see more and more and more of these. And I'll be happy to do them until we finish the campaign itself. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll do that for sure. I'll take a little bit more time to look around. Be sure to go ahead and check out the game itself overall using my Games Planet link. The link will be down below in the description along with all the other information if you need anything else that, to help you along. We might need to talk to these guys a little bit to find out more. But yeah, cool. I'll see you guys in the next one and fish out.